So there's something going on in this 1.2 million square foot roof that we found the 121 anomalies that are causing these anomalies. This is a great example of what you what you hope to see. Now, the, these thermal anomalies, like the temperature differential between wet locations and dry locations, suspected, were not very drastic in temperature change. We suspect that they are lighter moisture areas as opposed to being really saturated or heavy moisture or potentially could be caused by unknown other reasons that we'll figure out. But it's always important to have a temperature reference bar that shows you what color represents roughly what temperature that we're seeing in the image set. This was certainly a colder day. We had definitely cooler temperatures as a whole on this whole roof system. But here's the stitch that we produced after many attempts. And the problem was we had multiple data sets that it, this, these programs need one full complete data set. And we had to work off of multiple data sets to represent where all the thermal anomalies were clearly. So we used the best stitch that we could come up with to try to help map these out. And we also worked with our individual overview images to actually study these conditions. So this is that example of that two-year-old roof. Another example of a roof that we did a quality assurance check on, this was, I don't remember, 800,000 square feet roof. Pretty new, pretty good condition. I just took a quick video that kind of shows you know, the overall condition of the roof. Um, everything looked pretty good from our initial assessment, but we did find one moisture area that is right here. You can see in the middle of the field of the roof. <clears throat> this company has a roofing contractor come out annually to look at things. Same situation though, like this roof or this moisture area is in the middle of the field, like can be easily missed when a lot of the focus is studying around penetrations, AC units, expansion joints, other miscellaneous parts of the roof that you would commonly see failures take place. So essentially for the property owner, they were able to take this data, send it to the roofing contractor for them to go out and verify, oh, yep, this is open, this is a problem, this is wet, and fix it before the issue became any worse, wet, bigger, or more problematic. So just another example of a great quality assurance check.